Uh, th this next one's the Jackson 5, uh, looking through the window, which we, we played last week, but I'm, I'm going to keep the, the looking through the window thing going for a bit because this city's centre, that's... If you're looking for it on, online, it's hash, this city, and then one S, and then centre, spelt with a, a UK spelling. Uh, this city centre... Uh, because Vol Volker Muller was here last week, and uh, that interview is on YouTube, and you'll find it if you use that, that hash, this city's centre, no apostrophe, uh, this city s centre... Uh, you'll find those those three three. It's, I've divided it up into three bits because um, uh, YouTube sometimes throws a wobbly over about fifteen minutes. I'm not I'm not sure why, but it, it does happen. Um, it, it's going to continue. I'm very glad that we we managed to make a con connection with it at this stage because there's there's going to be more happening with that project through September. I think. Um, JD's trying to find the, the website and I've made some notes so I'll, I'll look those out and we'll try and have some, some actual dates after this from the Jackson 5. Well, JD is here. JD, good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm not quite on mic frame yet. Well, I don't know which one I'm on. Well, that, I think that's all right. OK, you can hear me. Yeah. I can't hear myself on the radio. OK? Yeah, no, the needle's, go, the needle's going. OK, right, OK. So we'll assume that's, that, we'll assume that's the right mic. Yeah, OK, well, we'll sort that out. Yeah, if Chris was here, he'd have sorted it all out but yeah, by now. Yeah, sorted it all out for us, you know. But there we go. Yeah, so, um, you weren't here last week. No. No, but you, did you hear anything about the this city centre? I've been looking at it on the websites and uh, done my homework as usual. Right. So I can I can now put my homework into the head teacher. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, I, it was very interesting really because um, looking out of any windows because we don't have any, as, as we keep saying we don't have windows down here apart from the one in the door. Which I like to go and uh, make funny faces at Mr. Norton every time and now again. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Well, ca carry on, Joe. Did yes. Um, okay. So just say a bit. So try that. Try that, Mike. Hello. No. No. Uh, no. No. Carry on. It's just okay. a bit low, but I'm sure people can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. So. Yeah. Well, really, we get a view of the corridor, don't we? And a okay. note. <laughs> and a notice board. <laughs> yes. I'm looking behind. I've got it behind me, but uh, yes. It's a good place to go and pull funny faces at us in the, in the box. <laughs> so that's our view from our window. Yes. But at the moment, you found, you found the website, and I made some notes before. If you, if you went to events, I think it's events, because w when Volkart was here last week, he didn't seem to know that much about specific dates. So I know we're way ahead, but I, I think we should, we should say what the, what the dates are. Right. OK, well, I have to find so, one. Well, if you, if you have a look, I, I think... On the between the fifth and eighth of June, at the Bike Shed Theatre, there will be the first performance, because yeah. there is theatre which will come off the uh, installation in in the museum about. You are correct. That's correct. Between the fifth and the eighth of June, at the Bike Shed Theatre, and the yeah. Bike Shed Theatre is one of the places that there's a, a video loop running with right. the views they've got at the moment out of people's windows. Right. So I, I expect they'll keep that mm -hmm. to, to build up. I think that's part of Ignite, which so there'll be other things going on at that time. But that's, I think that's the first theatrical part of it or performance part of it. And then on the 23rd of July, there's the launch of the map and the installation. So that'll be, the, I guess, at the Royal Abbott Memorial Museum. Yeah. And then... In July and August, there are going to be digital documentaries appearing, short films. And I, I don't know anything about that, but that, that, that's when they're going to appear. What's a, a film burst, bursary? Um, I yeah. think the... You know the, the digital bit of the Phoenix yeah. at, the, at the back? Yeah. Where the Mac equipment is and the yeah. video cameras? I Behind think they're... the coffee. What? <laughs> Behind the coffee. Behind the coffee. Yes. That's yeah, that's right. Yes, we, we don't get much further than the coffee, do we? <laughs> no. Uh, but that's where it is, and I think they're going to be 
supporting those some, some movies. I don't I don't know exactly right, what okay. what that is. That's, that's what it is. Right, but okay. they'll be coming out in July and August. Right. And then between the fifteenth and the twenty second of September, there will be um, more performance. I think that's going to be in the high street somewhere, uh, in a shop. Uh, they're going to f- try and find a shop that's available on a short term basis. There's lots of shops. Well, there are. They're getting in more and more every year. No, <laughs> JD. Is, there will not be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's a topic we should talk we about. Should talk about in that. terms of this yes. city centre. Yes, the city centre. Because there are people who don't don't. I'd just like to let you know, I do like coming to Exeter. You do. I don't like the other big city, which I won't name. But no. I do like coming to Exeter. And what? It, do the cafes have something to do with that, do you think? Because I... I, uh, I that, well, not necessarily. No, 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 no. I think it's just the general... I think it's you people... Yes. ...who live in Exeter. Yes. I think you're great. Absolutely great. And to prove it, I think you're number four or five... Yeah. ...on the happiest places to live in Great Britain. Is that right? Four or five? In the four or five. I think it's number four. Well, we wouldn't worry about the other four. We're not jealous sort of people, are we? We... If we're in that sort of range, that's probably pretty good. And number five is uh, a place about five miles where I used to live. Where's that? St Albans. St Albans? Yes. So if, you, if you've been following the national newspapers, that's what I've been there last week, I think. Oh, right. So, yes. Well, I think if we're in the top ten or twenty, that's, that's quite good. Yes. Well, people do smile here, which is lovely. So if you see me, give me a big cheesy grin. I love it. And um, there is a photo of you on, on your Facebook page. Yes. So yes. people can recognise you. Well, just, just go and grin at anybody. Uh, <laughs> I'll grin back again. If, if, <laughs> if it happens to be you. Yeah. Well, that sounds very good. Well, yeah. So, yeah. so do you think the fact that people live in the centre of Exeter uh, contributes to that atmosphere? Because that seems to be what they're basing their approach on. Uh, in Exeter itself? Or well, their, their, who, idea, who, their who, idea is to have views out of the window mm-hmm. from people who live within, I think it's ten minutes' walk yes. of the Cathedral Green. Oh, right. Um, okay. and, but the, Volcott does walk very quickly. <laughs> and he thought <laughs> that... Because of how fast you walk. Well, he thought it could <laughs> include parts of Carrick Street. All right. Um, All right. But I'm not sure about that. I, I met them at the far end of Sidwell Street, so they obviously think they could get to the Odeon in ten minutes, which is probably true. It's well, quite possible. Well, I can get from home to here in uh, 35 minutes. Yeah, but that's with a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. So, <laughs> and that, so that's near Totnes. Yes. 